Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included, but unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. 
you talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. 
Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. So you knew Archangel from before? Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. 
I'll be back when the job is done. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Shepard, are you all right? What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Do I know you? No, no, humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Taking any chances. Shepard? I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and bigger shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy, messing with a man's living. No, you said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first, then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch, Arius Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. 
She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones in my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Or perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Krant, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. 
Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's fox get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word if it's a Herod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, 
You drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. I heard you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? A yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread, hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district, at least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. 
Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Thorcha. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <coughs> oh, you... You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> you were talking about Vorcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. 
then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff, it's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little... entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just wanna stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kinda had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kinda sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. 
Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague? Investigating possible use as bioweapon? No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers? Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns? Maybe. Looking for someone? Yes, yes. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before District suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from Dead Blue Sun's Mercs. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian Plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Enemies in Please. front! I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you! We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No. Those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you, well, everything. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. 
everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you from me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading now. See you on the Normandy. <laughs>